In this video, we're going to look at performing some if functions in Microsoft Excel when you have wildcard or partial text criteria. So you can see here I have a data set of clients with accounts payable balances due, and we want to perform different wildcard scenarios based on this criteria column here to pull back different partial text matches. So we'll begin with the sum if function. We have the first argument, which is our range. That is our criteria range. It's going to be our client name column. The next input is our criteria. This is text, so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. And to start out, I'm just going to input the star symbol by itself. So what that means in wildcards is any number of any character. So what we're saying here is sum everything. The final input is our sum range, which is our balance due column. So that returns the sum of every single client in our list because we put a star there, which means any number of any characters. Our criteria column is this here. So if we wanted to narrow this down to anything that begins with the word West, we would begin with our word or pattern. And then after that, we would have a star because we're saying it must begin with the word West, but after that can be anything. So when I hit enter, that returns the one client that meets that criteria, West Side Cleaning. Now, if we wanted to get the sum of any client that contains the word West, we would put our word or pattern between two stars. So we're saying anything can come before our word, anything can come after it. So that returns the sum of these two clients here, West Side Cleaning and Southwest Designs. So now we're going to put our criteria in a cell reference. So this time we want anything that ends in LLC. So we have our star at the beginning because we're saying anything can come before our pattern, but it must end in LLC. So we have our sum if, our criteria range is our client name column. Our criteria is this cell here this time, and then our sum range is the balance due column. That returns the total of these two clients here that both end in LLC. Now, another special character besides the star character that you'll see in wildcards and partial text is the question mark. And that represents one of any character. So let's say our criteria this time we want is any word that the first letter can be anything, but the second and third letters have to be I and D. So we have question mark for the first character because it can be anything. The second character has to be I, the third character has to be D, and then anything can come after that. Well, that returns these two clients here. They both have different first characters, but the second and third characters are I and D. And you can do all sorts of things with stars and question marks. So another scenario, we could have any client that begins with the SPR. The fourth and fifth characters can be anything, but the sixth character has to be T and then anything after that. So that returns these, the total of these two clients here, Sprint Racing and Sprout Gardens. So you can see they both begin with SPR. The fourth and fifth characters are different, but the sixth character is a T. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.